Hello, everyone. This is the Keeping It Real in Real Estate Show, and I'm your host, Kathy Blakey. I'm a realtor with Century 21, a marketer, entrepreneur, and nature enthusiast. In this podcast series, I'm going to take you on a journey as we explore topics in real estate, including the market, mortgages, common inspection issues, sustainable future, and more. Are you a homeowner? Future homeowner. Do you like saving money? Enjoy healthy living? Then this podcast series may be for you. Stay tuned as we go deep into these topics. And don't forget, subscribe, like, and share. In this episode, we're going to be talking about cash needed to close and where can you get more of it? How can you benefit from using a lender who has insights into local programs or participate in programs that offer assistance? What is the Community Reinvestment Act and how might you benefit? What questions should you be asking your lender to see if you're getting the best program? Stay tuned for these tips and more. So today I'm joined here with Marianne Cronin and she is a CRA mortgage loan officer with Fulton Mortgage. I've known Marianne for almost 30 years now and she's extremely knowledgeable, professional, and a true asset to the community. I'd like to take a moment now and have Marianne introduce herself. Hello everyone, thank you for joining. My name is Mary Ann Cronin and I've been in the mortgage industry for 30 years now. I started out in mortgage servicing, processed mortgage payments, processed satisfactions and payoffs, worked my way through processing, management, and into my current role as a mortgage loan officer. I've been in this role as a mortgage loan officer for the past 20 years to help first time home buyers, reach their goal of home ownership. I started my position recently with Fulton Mortgage Company as a CRA Mortgage Loan Officer, which stands for Community Reinvestment Act, as they offer multiple products and programs to assist that first-time home buyer achieve their goal. So Marianne, can you tell us what is the Community Reinvestment Act and a little bit more about your role as a Community Reinvestment Act loan manager? Sure. The Community Reinvestment Act is an act that requires lenders, banks, and financial institutions to meet the credit needs of the entire community, including the low to moderate income families. My role as the Community Reinvestment Act loan officer also known as CRA, Mortgage Loan Officer, is to reach out to the local communities with the nonprofits, the counseling agencies, and to reach those the low to moderate income families trying to purchase a home where we can offer certain grants, certain loan products, whether it be lower interest rate or no mortgage insurance, to assist that family to purchase a home. I'm very passionate about assisting first-time homebuyers, and this role is a very rewarding role for me. Sometimes buyers come to me already pre-approved for a mortgage, and sometimes the pre-approvals are based on them asking for the seller to pay for a significant amount of their closing costs. And that's okay as long as the seller is willing to and if the market will you know, bear that type of request being put into the transaction. But sometimes I feel like buyers would be better off if they could go with a program or a lender who offers money that provides down payment assistance or closing cost assistance. What kind of programs do you offer? Fulton Mortgage has multiple programs that can assist the buyer. We offer a closing cost assistance grant up to $2,500. We also offer the first front door grant, which is up to $5,000. And the Delaware State Housing Authority program, which has multiple loan program options within itself. And our goal is to get the buyer into the home with the least amount of funds and not ask the seller for as much closing cost for better negotiations in price. So Marianne, it sounds like some of that might even be free money. Can you tell us a little bit about maybe some differences of what is the difference between say a grant and a bond program? The grant programs do not have to be repaid. The closing cost assistance program is a true grant 
and the first front door that is a grant but you have to stay in your home as a primary residence for five years the delaware state housing authority loans are a second lien against the property they are at zero percent you have an option of two to five percent of your loan amount that you can borrow they are a lien and they do have to be repaid when it's no longer your primary residence or when you sell the property okay now can any first-time buyer use these programs Yes, not only first-time buyers, but also repeat buyers. They're all income-based programs. Each one is specific to the program. They have different income restrictions. So my role as a CRA mortgage loan officer is to have an interview with the borrower, determine their household income, in addition to qualifying income, to determine which programs are best for them. Okay, and so just to clarify when you say that it's income based you're not saying they have to meet a minimum amount of income they actually have a maximum amount of income as well correct and it's based on household size all right sounds great so Marian, can you help our listeners frame a few questions that they should be asking their lender yes a client should ask their lender Three things. One, what is my monthly payment going to be? Total payment, principal and interest, taxes, insurance, and mortgage insurance if applicable. In addition to that, you need to know how much of a down payment you're going to need and what the total closing costs are. You can negotiate seller to pay closing costs. They are not required to pay the closing costs, and each program has a different amount the seller can pay. They range from 3%, 6% to all if you're a veteran. That's very important if you need seller assistance to negotiate that with your offer. And your realtor must know if you have to have a certain amount, they must know that dollar amount so they can negotiate on your behalf. So Marianne, it sounds like you're really able to help a lot of people with these programs, first-time buyers, and even if you're not a first-time buyer. And I just thinking back to you know, the beginning of my real estate career, mortgage career, and the feeling of helping people. I do remember my very first real person that I was able to help. Her name was Dorothy. And again, it's been many, many years ago, but it always stuck with me because I was so involved with assisting her with, you know, writing explanations for her credit, making sure that she provided all the documentation needed for processing the loan. And it was kind of iffy here and there, but when she got the settlement, it was just a really remarkable experience for me to feel like I was a big part of that. And so for our listeners, who's your Dorothy? As a mortgage loan officer for 20 years, I have many Dorothy stories. And that is my passion, is to help that client purchase a home and go through all of the ups and downs during the process that may happen. And these programs can help a buyer today to purchase a home and they don't have to wait five or 10 years and they don't have to save 20% put down on a home. And when we go to settlement, having them get that key to their home is the most rewarding experience there is. Well, Marianne, it's been a pleasure having you on the show today. I really appreciate you taking your time to help our listeners with these important topics. And we're going to be sure to have you back on the show again. But before we leave, I'd just like for you to share a little more information. If you could please provide your contact information and MLS number. Yes, my NMLS ID number is 497120. And you can reach me at mcronin at fultonmortgagecompany.com or by cell 302-530-1295. And I'm going to be sure to put that contact information into the detailed for this program. Thank you for having me, Kathy. You're quite welcome. So on a journey towards home ownership, sometimes there's obstacles. When we think about some of the three key things that you need to be able to get a mortgage. You need to have an established credit history with good credit score. You need to have stable income. And in most cases, you need to have a down payment and closing costs saved up. So the good news is of those three things, 
If you've already done the work to get your credit score in good shape and you've been maintaining a good, stable employment history to demonstrate that you can pay the mortgage, then there are programs designed specifically so that you can get assistance with the down payment and with closing costs. Of course, you have to be within the income requirements that are established by the different programs, but the good news is that there is assistance and that's what they're designed for. So I wish you all the best in exploring the programs that are available to you to move forward on the path to homeownership. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Keeping It Real in Real Estate with Kathy Blakey as your host. Visit www.keepingitrealinrealestateinfo.com. And if you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, if you or someone you know would like to become a guest speaker on this podcast series, please contact me on my website. You can also find me by searching the key terms, Kathy Blakey Realtor. And you should be able to find me on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, or Instagram. I look forward to hearing from you. As a disclaimer, this show is not intended to be used as a replacement for professional advice. For specific issues relating to your real estate transaction, please consult with your qualified realtor, mortgage broker, home inspector, or real estate attorney. Thank you.